Welcome, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the final round of Guess Who's Doing What today. On our show today, we have a guest speaker that will show up. His name is Ronald. Ronald Fremeth. You may have seen him somewhere before. He's a good friend of Mr. Tackman's. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Does it, uh, do I act okay? I like, I like to know a little bit about my acting now because, you know what, if I'm going to make it into a job, I may as well do it as most convincing as possible. What I want to show you is in God We Trust. So do you know anybody that looks like this? Because that's the only God I know. This is the plow. It's the triangle between the two roads. See the way it looks like it's going down, down, down the road, but it's upside down? Here's the plow of the field. To plow the fields, to farrow the lands, to build the cities. As cities pushed the Hebrews, and Pharaoh was hard on Moses as they were working to build bricks. But remember the cities. Cetes in French, this says 70. It says 70. Do you see it? Seven zeros. Seventy. Seven set. T's. These T's. But when you turn it around, See what happens to the to the letter at the same time? I mean, you turn it this way, it becomes even something different. Even if it's a Playboy Bunny, Resident Angel, 18th letter, which starts off putting a cage. That's right. The 18th letter creates a cage because, because between 1 and 8 and the A family, and the H is the first one with the full expression of A-C-H, E same H, H, Ace of the Heaven Connecting Worlds. AC, 1 and 3. 135 is the angle of two sides when the pregnancy comes up. So you don't actually you tilt down the back. Well, anyways, it's only for expression inside. So we get H is a whole word. It's 9 and 8. It's 17. In H is 9 and 8. 8 and 9. I mean, you know why? Because the H itself is 8. And 9 is 1, 3, and 5. 8 and 9. 8 plus 9 is 17. We got the Q again. 8 by 9 is 72, 7 and 2 is 9. 7 times 2 is the 14, and that's the 14. I don't know how that works, but it's, it's the 14s are the opposite of whatever the 7 would miss to be the ice. But if it was 14, uh, let's say 8 and 6, the reverse of 8 is 6, so that's your 14. The reverse of 9 is 5, and that's your 14. And the reverse of all 7s are 7, so that's your 14. If you don't understand why, please ask me, and I'll do my best to see what you can see and try and explain to you how to see it the way I see it your way. The M, if we had two strings here, this little ball in the middle would be holding it from swaying too far. If we had one little ball in the ground over here, it would be balancing on its two tips. The difference between what's under or what's over is the difference between the double B and the W of life from above or below. So that's why you would have Wilma, Fred, what's going on? Sixth letter. Sixteenth letter is P. Four by four is sixteen. Eighth letter is four plus four is H. So that's right. So we were on the word H. So H is the first and the eighth. In between is two, three, four, five, six, seven. They say on the piano that the five is the middle. The five is the middle because on the dice, on the dice, when you take a look, you take a look on the dice somewhere, the one is in the middle. The six is not. When you turn around, one and six are opposite. This is the only dice that makes the P letter. The only one. And this is the only dice that at its smallest that can recreate in the six and also recreate in the five. So we were at H. We were at R. Because R is 1 and 8 together put up. R, A, and H. Okay. The three letters that they represent right here make uh, together as um, 18 plus 9 is 27, which represents red. Don't forget, in roulette, 12 is, is red. But I can make it black with reason. So now we have the H, so we have a total of 27. Now let's add this up. 2 to 7, when we add it up, it equals 27. Watch. 2 plus 3 is 5. 
plus 4 is 9, plus 5 is 14, plus 6 is 20, plus 7 is 27. Now add up 18 plus 1 plus 8 is 27. Now, there was another thing that I was doing with 2 and 7. I don't remember what it was. It's in one of my previous videos. 2 and 7 says big win. Because 2 is B, 7 is G, 2 and 7 is I. You got big. 2 times 7 is 14. 2 plus 7 uh, is 9. 14 and 9 is 23. You got the, the letter W. Now you got win big. From 72. We showed you how the spade and the clubs can get around together. See the two eyes over here and here holding his balls? He's only the lit candle. Somebody has to have a peripheral and better vision from one side than the other. Two black cards. Here we're working with a red spade. You know why? Because it's a heart. This angle in here steals out from what it is because if you really look at the club okay there are three balls but each one of these balls has to have one of these see this is the plug-in into the heart which makes it a black spade makes it a black spade but becomes the red heart because it becomes with life through the club don't forget when you play bridge the clubs are weak but here the clubs are strong um, Something else I wanted to show you, if you take a look at this. This is Israel. See this part over here? It's the way they make the cue. One, five, one, two, one, three, one. Um, we talked about D and T, the way we say the minute we use eight or four, and both of them use in French the letter Q, quatre, quatorze, kinds, this word over here, kinds, okay, is where the egg is. And it also connects to Einstein in 1776. You want me to explain it? Whatever I explain, whatever I say, whatever I do is what I see, what I picked up. I bump into something. I know. I can be anywhere in the world with any language in the world. As long as I hear the sound and there's a little communication for a better understanding so I can extend the, under, the, the, the understanding to show the difference or the likeliness between the two in numbers? To me, that's exciting. I still didn't do the Scrabble board. Um, so anyways, uh, we did 1, 7. We did 2 through 7. We added them up. The total is 54. Nine of these dots on six different sides is 54. Next year is the Hebrew leap year. It brings us in the middle of 5775, which says 4747 equals 94, which says 44 times 47. If, I, if I'm adding that right, is it 44 by 47? Or is it 176? Anyways, next year's numbers, I can't find my calculator. Let's see what next year's numbers say. 44 times 47 equals 2068. That would make 20 plus 68 is the 88. So that's the completion. Because some of the numbers complete on the other side of the, it is the full and extended definition of, you know, things come around and reconnect. How do we know? We're only getting, like, when it disconnects here, we're dead. But all that over there, we don't need the connections. We hooked it up to get us up down here. 10, 10. This is a D for four, the fourth letter. This looks like nine. Forty-nine says eternal. French is eternal. This one says we're hooked up to a plug. Two times fifty-five is one ten. The other way to look at this, because it's complete in Roman numerals, D is five hundred. Five hundred and nine. Fifty times nine is four fifty. Four times fifty is two hundred. You get paid on go. Now the question is, what does the rest of this mean? And then you have ten. 10 is the end, basically, T and D. T is 20 and 5, or 20 and 14. The total is 29, 19, which equals 39, or 93, or gold bond medicated shampoo, or medicated powder, P. 
P-10-9, Peyton Manning, as they say. But there's a whole more of a story uh, th than that. Um, where else is there? We did this. Anyways, let's end it on this picture, okay? Raphael 7286 in the constellation of Pegasus. This CT 70 is what Raish is. And Raish, I call the letter R because R and H together, A-C-H-E. A-C-H-E, again, I'm going to do it again, is 9 and 8 is 17. 17 and 18 R is 35. Quebec says 35. 5 by 5, 5 plus 5 is 35. And 8 times 5 and 8 plus 5 is 53. And they all together mix and match to make 88. 3 and 5 is 8, which makes H, 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 and H. And thank you for watching.